three things. First thing, terminology update. This is now definitely a spillament. That's stuck, that's not changing. I'm just gonna call this a spillament from now on. It's a lot easier than saying a spool of filament. For some reason, I've been calling this a bucket. I don't really know why I'm calling it a bucket, but that is now a bucket. If that's a spillament and that's a bucket, this is a spillament bucket stand. So that's the terminology we're going for. Second thing, this was V1 of the bucket stand, and quite frankly, it was um, a bit rubbish. You know, V1 is always gonna be a bit crap, isn't it? Just a bit poo. So this is V2, and that works much more nicely. That goes straight in. There's still plenty to do with this. One of the big problems, even at 0.24 mil layer height and 5% infall, it's still 150 grams of filament. So if I'm gonna print 50 of these things, uh, that's a lot of filament. Third thing, apologies for the slightly cryptic update yesterday. Apparently it was completely unclear what on earth I was talking about. I will do a longer update in the next couple of days just to kind of make it clearer what this thing is all about. In the meantime though, this is kind of it. This is where we're at at the moment. Humor me if you will, this is a very janky setup. The LED is just an indicator whether or not we know something's in the bucket or not. And so at the moment there's nothing in the bucket, so the indicator is saying green. But as soon as we put something in the bucket and we cover up the sensor that's in the bottom of the bucket, the LED turns off to indicate that it's covered. If we take the bucket out again, the LED comes back on. And if we have a bunch of these all lined up in a circuit, we'll have a matrix of them. Because the signal will go into the Arduino, we can then manage to know exactly when a spillament is stored or whether it's in a 3D printer. That's kind of it. I hope that's a bit clearer about what the whole bucket spillament Arduino thing is about. I will do a longer update probably over the, over the next few days. But do follow along if you want to see whether or not I can actually make this thing work. Cool.